everyone welcome to IT Frontier my name is Hariharnath in this video let's look into step by step guide on how to send temperature and humidity values from DHT11 sensor to Azure IoT Hub using Raspberry Pi so stay tuned until the end of this video to get the, all the steps right before we get started please subscribe to my channel and hit the like button let's get started so first we'll follow the steps that are written in the readme file in the github repository so we have uh, the first step is the prerequisites in the prerequisites we have to first create iot hub and iot hub device if you haven't followed the previous video then uh, you can follow those previous videos to create iot hub and iot hub device so links are here as well as in the top right corner i will be posting them next is we have to check the python 3 version so python 3 version we have to check in the raspberry pi i will use putty to open the raspberry pi so raspberry pi i am logging in now i'll follow the steps that are written here so python 3 is available if it is not there we have other steps to install the python 3 next is we have to install the required packages so these are the pip packages of the python so i am trying to install the pip for the azure sdk as well as async io that i will be using in the code for the asynchronous programming so once this is done uh, we have to go for the next next step where is dht library installation so this installation is already done uh, so we can see pip installed requirements are satisfied now i'll uh, show you how to install these so first step is we have to download the dht library so i'll use another directory i'll download so this is download downloaded and then we have to unzip it so once that is unzipped we have to get into that folder so we are into that folder and we have to install that library it is installing yeah so dht adafruit dht library is installed next thing is we have to make sure these components are available so these are the components hardware requirements uh, so we need raspberry pi i am using raspberry pi 3v you can also use another board of raspberry pi and then micro sd card dht sensor jumper wise breadboard and the power supply so basically we have two types of dht 11 sensors so one is three pin another is a four pin so i am using the three pin one so in this in this uh, diagram schematic we can look into first one the first pin that we see the signal pin that is connected to gpio 4 the red one is the 5 volts vcc and the black one is the ground similarly here uh, the only difference we have with the 4 pin dht is the first one is the vcc second is the, the signal one and the last one is the uh, ground so the third pin here is not used and we have to use this uh, pull up register 10k first thing is breadboard dht11 sensor and some jumper wires and this is the raspberry pi so i put in the case so first i'll try to disconnect it so once disconnected i have to use this dht11 sensor and put it here so as per the diagram so first pin is the signal pin so i'll use orange for that second is vcc i'll use red and the third one is about ground so all three are connected now i'll use the orange one which is a signal into gpio 4 so if you start from this as a reference so i'll use from the left it is a fourth one so i have connected and the vcc is the first one on the right and the ground is the third one on the right once this is done i will try to connect with the power so now it is powered up and we should see the data once we run the code next thing is about the we have to save the code 
had to have written. So you can uh, copy the code, download the code from here that is already in this uh, repository. So, you, so I am opening that code in the, another page. So right now this is the code. Uh, so I will go through the code. So first are the import statements, the DHT library and as well as IoT Hub uh, uh, SDKs. So we will go to the main program. In the main program first we have to replace this connection string with your IoT Hub device connection string and then uh, we create the device client out of it and also we have this uh, looping for async IO and uh, remaining things are the try catch. So in the try we have this uh, send recurring telemetry where we keep on sending the data to the IoT Hub and uh, in the except we have keyboard interrupt as well as normal exception and finally we close the loop. Now we'll go to this, uh, the try catch. Uh, in the try, we have this send recurring telemetry. So into that method, uh, so inside this method, we have a device client passed. So with that, we'll connect to the device client, and then uh, we have this uh, uh, reading from the temperature humidity. So we'll we'll go to this method. So here we'll read uh, using the DHT library from the hardware, the DHT sensor. We are trying to read. Uh, so this is the DHT11 and uh, this is the model and then this is the pin that we have already shown GPIO4 pin. So from there it is trying to get the humidity and temperature. So once we get the temperature and humidity we will go to the, uh, we will have to format it in the JSON and then formatting all these are the two steps we will format and then in the form of message payload we have to send. So uh, that we are sending. Uh, so we are formatting into message and then we are using some encoding and other properties content type what is the content type in json we are sending or not and then we use this device client dot send message so that it will send to the cloud after that we are waiting for three seconds so this is happening every three seconds uh, the data will be sent to the cloud this is the code that i have explained now let's go back to the schematic so this we have now we have understood and then we have also saved so we have to save the code right so whatever uh, is available here we have to copy uh, using this and then after that uh, i have already copied it i will show you so this is the code i have already copied it i have uh, included my connection string so this is the connection string i need to copy it from my iot hub so i'll show you how so first we need to go to iot hub Inside IoT Hub, we need to go to Devices, and in that particular device, we'll be having primary connection string. So this is the primary connection string. I'll copy it and I'll paste it. That I've already done, so you can see here. And remaining code seems same. So I have saved it. After saving it, I'll uh, go through the document again. So this fifth step is also done. Next thing is we have to run the code. So before running the code, I need to make sure this IoT Azure IoT Explorer is available with me. So this is the Azure IoT Explorer. You can also see the links for the download. And then once here also we need to set up. Uh, so all the steps will be mentioned. So you have to go inside the devices. So you'll go to devices and then click on the device you want to uh, listen. So here uh, we have to listen whatever the data that we are sending from our code. So that's why we'll start monitoring. So you, you should click on start. So it will start monitoring the events that are coming to IoT Hub. So uh, we have the next step is to run the code. So I'll make this beside and then run the code. So I have run the code. So what we'll try is DH, from the DHT11, it will try to send uh, sense the temperature and send it to the cloud. So you can see 3250. 3250 and every three seconds I have put this code so if the temperature and humidity changes then it will send the changed one otherwise we have this constant values that keep on coming so this is how you can send temperature and humidity to the Azure IoT Hub so I can use this control C to stop this so you have to stop this otherwise there will be uh, you will be consuming all the messages available for the IoT Hub so if there is no use of this code we have to stop it we hope this video is informative and has helped you understand how to interface Raspberry Pi with DHT11 sensor and send data to Azure IoT Cloud.
your support means a lot to us so please share your support by liking this video and hitting that subscribe button feel free to post your queries in the comment section below thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video